Oh, you know I had to come with the pose, especially on the final installment of the Air Jordan 1. The light, oh, it's always shining bright when it comes to Mr. Wonderful and when it comes to the channel. But I got you beautiful people out there. Oh, yes. The skin's looking at me. Oh, the money maker's right here with the ladies. The light always shining bright when it comes to greatness. But I got you beautiful people out there. The fellas. Oh, I know you're representing fellas and those beautiful ladies that I call my cheerleaders. I appreciate you for stepping on into the FC Sneaker Factory. For one last time, when it comes to the Air Jordan 1, the doors have are open. And come on in. Come on into the FC Sneaker Factory because, yes... I am the Willy Wonka of this sneaker factory, and I own all these freaking shoes. And I have a lot of beauties in this collection, and I want to say, hey, they're all beautiful in my eyes. But to conclude this segment, to conclude the Air Jordan 1 segment with Sneaker Profiles 155, yes, I have decided to bring out this one, yes, it's because everybody keeps talking on talking about it and yes it was everybody's on everybody's christmas list in 2022 oh you know what i'm talking about the air jordan one reimagined the air jordan one lost and found whatever the hell you want to call it it is an amazing shoe and i'm so blessed and so grateful to have it in my collection and because I'm so well deserving of it. Oh, when I got noticed that, oh, I got it as a sneaker app pickup. Oh, not from my phone, but from one of the people out there that helped me out on this one. I appreciate it so damn much. And it was like fireworks in the FC Sneaker Factory when I found out about this one. And I'm just so blessed and so grateful that I did not have to go to the freaking resale market on this one thank you sweet baby jesus but yes we are about to see this and yes the youtube airwaves and everybody every freaking sneakerheads channel probably has already done this review but you know what let mr wonderful take you on a journey let mr wonderful you wonderful give you this great review that he always does oh the you see that the blue smurf for one not I shouldn't say one last time because who knows when I'm about to bring this, but it is the Blue Smurf G Shock 6900, and of course you probably will not see this anymore when it comes to the channel. But the Acne Studio gray oversized sweatshirt that I did not know it was oversized until I put it on, and of course the white J C Penny Premium Stanford T. Let's take a look. The fit, the light blue rag and bone denim, because it just makes the fit go all together. And it definitely helps out with that watch to bring it a light. All right, so we have done so far five videos when it comes to, or I should say four videos when it comes to the sneaker profiles, when it comes to the Air Jordan 1, specifically on, on the Air Jordan 1 to be exact. So this was the this is the fifth and final shoe that i'm going to bring to you in this segment and like i told you in the beginning we are going to touch on the reimagined um, chicago colorway the lost and found whatever the hell you want to call it but let's take a look at the box so boom right there as you recall i did show you this on one of the well actually on floyd's pickups week one right the first floyd pickups in 2023 well this shoe was actually picked up in 2022 but I just showed you in 2023 when, when it came in as far as the Floyd pickups go. But you do have that nice distress reimagined Air Jordan box. So basically just showing that, you know, the wear and tear of the box after, you know, since 85, right? The colors have faded. Now they're more of like an orange lid when it comes to the lid of the box. You do have the Air Jordan all distressed out. Oh, I almost dropped it there. Mr. Wonderful almost fumbled it, but you know what? Mr. Wonderful never fumbles. But you see that Nike Air in the back? But let's take a look at this right here. The Nike Air, you see that size 10 and a half because that's how Mr. Wonderful always brings it to you. The Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, right? And then you got these nice sales stickers right here. I really like that touch. 
it's the little things in life, the little details when it comes to certain things, like especially when it comes to shoes that these details bring in right here, those stickers. I really love that twist. And remember when I was, when I did this unboxing on the Floyd's pickups and I was like, you know, mine did not come with the receipt. Well, actually, I had to actually take all the papering out of this shoe in order to find it and I was able to find it. So yes, the sneaker app pickups did come with the receipts as well. So you see that all the newspaper clippings when it came to the Air Jordan 1, when it came to all the the um, the advertisements, right? When it came to when, when Nike was basically trying to get this shoe put out there, create the excitement back in 1985 with the with their first basketball athlete, their primary basketball athlete, I should say their only basketball athlete, Michael Jordan at this time in 85, and he was their first signature athlete. So they gave him his own shoe. And then there you see that paid in full, the receipt that came along with this special packaging and this special shoe. So enough about that. Oh, my paper still looks amazing because that's just how I keep my paper. But let's take a look at this beautiful shoe. I absolutely love this shoe. I actually own the last Chicago one. I want to say it was released back in 2015. And you know what? I got rid of it. I had it like I probably had it maybe for a couple months and then I was downsizing a lot and I was like, you know what? I just not a fan of Air Jordan 1s. I'm just going to get rid of it. I want to say I paid like 300 for it. And I want to say I probably made like, I probably sold it for like 350 But that was back in when it first came out. And I want to say that was back in 2015. Now, move all these years forward, 2023. That shoe's like over $1,000. And I kicked my ass for selling that shoe. I should have just kept it. Because one, it was the Chicago colorway. And I, but at the time, remember, Mr. Wonderful is not the biggest Air Jordan 1 fan. So at the time, I was just like, I'm not going to wear it. I'm downsizing. I am going to let go of it. And what did I do? I let go of it and I kicked myself for it. But I'm so blessed and so grateful to have this and so well deserving that how always Mr. Wonderful does it. Well deserving of anything that I have and that I have in my possession of this one right here. The Air Jordan 1 reimagined, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago colorway, the Air Jordan 1 lost and found, whatever the hell you want to call it, but here we go. See that you got this nice red leather. Oh, it's so damn smooth. But right here on the toe box, as you can see, or if you have it in your possession, it is that rough leather, but still beautiful. I love how it's just all distress, kind of gives you that that Nigel Sylvester kind of look when it comes to the Air Jordan 1. Not as distressed as the Nigel Sylvester, but you do have some of these areas are a little bit distressed like this right here. It is that off-white leather. Oh, that of course, that beautiful black swoosh. Right here, it's all that cracking black leather on the ankle collar. Oh, look at that. My favorite part of the shoe right here. The Air Jordan 1 Wings logo on the ankle. Let's take a look at it beautiful same exact side you know as as the lateral side the medial side but except the minus the the wings logoing right here and then also more of that distressed look right here absolutely love that i can't wait to get this one out just a beautiful shoe oh of course a must for mr wonderful the nike air branding and this is the old school nike air branding you see that crazy looking swoosh that's the that's the swoosh from the from the 80s right there Nike Air. This is a nylon tongue, right? Nothing's really changed. You do got the black and white laces. And of course, right here on the insole, you do got that Air Jordan or the Nike Air labeling on the insole. So a little nice twist to that when it comes to it's not black, but it is white and it is red. So if you don't want to dirty up the white insole, you definitely have to wear a pair of clean white socks, hopefully but also, or some other type of style socks that it's not gonna stain the hell out of the insole. And of course, you got that look-alike Nigel Sylvester outsole. It's that distressed look on the outsole, just a beautiful shoe. 
absolutely gorgeous shoe. I just like how it's, you know, it's reimagined. It, it's, you know, vintage looking. It's not white. It's that, you know, off-white color leather, off-white colored midsole. You do got that distressing on the outsole. Crackling of the leather, which is, you know, great to see right here. Same thing right here. And it's not, uh, thank God they didn't give us the crackling leather that the Air Jordan 1 Mocha colorway um, taupe haze, right? The Air Jordan 4 taupe haze, that material is, is terrible. This is more of a nicer <laughs> cracking of the leather on, on this one. So thankfully for that, they did a great job. You know, the JB brand did an amazing job with this one. Perfect shoe. Perfect shoe. Definitely... It has to be one of those sneaker of the years. It could be in the lineup of that because it's just one, a very perfect shoe. But my only thing with Jordan and with Nike, when they freaking said, oh, there's a ton to go around. Everybody's going to have a chance to get it. Bullshit. Not everybody had a chance to get this. I put in two raffles from two different phones. I also had family members doing it as well. And I didn't get shit. So when it comes to JB brand and, and Nike saying, oh, there's more than enough to go around. Oh, bullshit. There's more enough to go around when it comes to the freaking bots. Because I'm sure the bots cooked a lot when it came to this freaking shoe. So they shouldn't be putting out that info like that, saying that there's all these millions and millions of numbers when it comes to this specific shoe. Or even hundreds of thousands. That's a bunch of bullshit. And don't be giving us false hope when it comes to specific shoes and when it comes to a shoe that you know everybody's gonna want. I appreciate you for stepping on building, stepping on into the sneaker factory. And if you wanna call it the sneaker building, so be it. I appreciate each and every one of you, but guess what? We have concluded, we have closed the book on the Air Jordan 1 when it comes to my sneaker collection. And maybe you'll see another one down the road, but not anytime lately. I appreciate you though, the fellas. Oh, and those beautiful ladies out there that I call my cheerleaders. Thank you so much for coming into the Sneaker Factory and joining Mr. Wonderful on his sneaker journey that we call the FC Sneaker Factory behind me. I appreciate you and I'll see you in a couple days because guess what? We're going to be doing it all brand new again with a brand new segment. It may be from a live that I did from 2021 or 2022 or maybe we may be doing it a brand new one with some brand new shoes. Who knows? except myself but like i always leave you and like how i always end the channel oh when i open those doors that car door for the ladies when we're on a date oh and when i let them ride smace mountain they say when they as they sit their butt into the car they say mr wonderful you are too sweet